Yo, 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 what's good, my pay fellow Patreons, bringing y'all another unblockable blitz. I got two running backs in the black field, and it still won't block this blitz. It's called the Crash Blitz 3 out of the 3-4-I. Like I said, a situational blitz, not a blitz to spam. Y'all ready for this? We're going to max protect. So, I'm going to just walk y'all through this, my thought process on this. When you base a line, just base a line and press. When you do that, like the setup is just base the line, you're going to press, you're going to spread your linebackers. You're going to crash a defensive line to the left. You could pit this guy right here in the hook, do whatever you want with him. Uh, and you could even shade underneath to cover the flats if you think that's what they're going to go to. Now, look, when you in this, would you ever, if you saw somebody in a set like this, would you ever think that corner was blitzing or do you think I just pressed? Like, no one expects this corner to blitz. Like, if you want to, to make this blitz faster, you can move this guy in more. But then they'll probably know something's up. You know what I'm saying? Or they, they think you're in the cover too, or I don't know. But they might know something's up. But that's why I like to usually like pit, I usually like to man him up like this, so if they do try to throw the quick strength, slant or streak, or just put him in a purple, or put him in a flat if they do try to throw that quick thing, or just a purple. But like I'm just showing y'all how the blitz work. You see, I max protect. Uh, steel comes in only for rushing four people. Now if you just like look baseline press, we're gonna spread our linebackers, crash our D line to the left. And do that shade underneath this blitz is still going to come in but it's just a lot slower but it's still coming but like i said i wouldn't move that guy over if i was y'all like say like you've been pressing you've been sending heat at this guy you've been playing some max coverage you've been doing whatever you've been doing if you just baseline press spread your linebackers and do this this basically looks like i would just think oh i don't think he's sending a blitz like you're not moving nobody around i don't I, it doesn't look like no side is being overloaded so they would not expect anything. The only thing you really have to watch probably is the middle. That's it. But then when y'all gonna see when I send this blitz, still coming through, he would not expect that to be coming. And you're only sending four people, so it's excellent coverage behind the blitz. So again, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna base a line, press, spread your linebackers just in case they do try to run, and then crash your defensive line to the right, put this guy in a hook. I I sub a linebacker in right here at this spot. And I usually put him in a hook. Or I man him up on that guy over there. Just so, just in case he comes on a crosser or something. But it's really up to y'all. Y'all can do what y'all want. If you really, if you if you got a fast linebacker here, you don't have to worry about moving him over. But if you're on Reg's team, you can move him over a little bit just to get better coverage, I guess. Or do whatever y'all want to do. Like I said, y'all see like this blitz coming through screaming, bro. And I'm blocking two running backs every time. That time I didn't, but I'm going to just max protect. And I'm blocking a running back on both sides, so you can't be like, oh, well, you're blocking a running back on the opposite side. No, I'm blocking both running backs and the tight end. Face the line, press, spread my linebackers, crash them to the right. Are right, you don't want to spread, bro? All right, there you go. And then basically you're done from there. Put that guy in the hook or man him up. Like, don't forget, sub a linebacker in right here. You don't want a left in and cover. You can sub a left, any outside linebacker, you can sub in at that spot. So that's what y'all going to want to do. And then you can move this guy over if you don't think he can get there in time. But you're going to see when they hike the ball, I'm blocking both running backs. And it still gets their excellent coverage on the field. And like I said, if y'all won't, uh, I don't know why I spread my line. Spread my line. But if y'all won't, y'all could move this guy in. But if they catch y'all doing that, they might be like, oh, he's probably blitzing that corner. Or if you've done this blitz before. Or if you, like, that's why you can't spam this blitz. Because once they, if you spam this blitz, they're going to just pit Dez on a streak and probably just throw it to him every time and then hike the ball. But that's exactly why I like to move that linebacker over there a little bit because that will stop the quick streak. And y'all y'all might yeah, y'all might not think like this guy can get there, but if you just place him right here, that quick streak is dead. I'm telling y'all. So you're gonna base a line press. Uh I don't know why I pinched my line. You don't have to pinch a line, but move this guy over. And if you do move this guy over, all you gotta do is move this linebacker here and that quick streak they they wouldn't throw that like i max protect like i try to throw but i'm not getting that he's not getting there and you're beating two people you're beating two running backs blocked on the field so that's exactly why i love this play so they can't really do much with it so baseline press uh spread my linebackers crash right you can move it i only move this guy over but if i do move this guy over i always move this guy right here this spot right here they can't throw a quick streak a quick slant they can't really do much so that's the setup. Uh, it's a really excellent play. Like, y'all don't believe me. It's a really excellent play. They can't really do much about this blitz. <laughs> so uh, I hope y'all like this. Uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section what y'all want to see more. Let me know if y'all got any questions. 
But thanks for uh, pledging the $5. I really appreciate y'all. And until next time.